powerful winches for pulling 60 ton tanks. Modern day 60 ton tanks can be pulled by a vehicle of that size. The, um, the armoured tracked vehicle going past with a sort of strange looking jib on the... So that's why I've decided to keep it like this. There are plenty of green ones out there to show you. Thank you very much, Mike. I'll let you slam them back in. James can talk to the one behind, which also comes from Hawley in Surrey. So there we are. Us guys in Surrey, we seem to have all these around us. And then there's as many many years on the motorway. civilian colours, uh, often had much longer service as a privately owned recovery vehicle than it would have done in its military service. We'll just wait for the tank to Wait for the tank to go past. It's from a beach at Aramanche and many military vehicles, including Bart. And apart from all that, he's even a regular participant in the annual London to Brighton veteran car run. Um, he takes an 1899 Haynes Apperson, but he tells me that it has the worst brakes in the world, as none are fitted, and that the only way to stop it is to put the car in reverse. So it gives me really great people of 2014. Would you like to say something? Would you like to back of the Winston, thank you very much indeed. I'm deeply honoured the recipient of the most prestigious award in the military vehicle preservation movement by the two most important influential military vehicle clubs in Europe, the MBT and the IMPS. I've been interested in and have collected land roads and military vehicles for over 50 years. And this in the background they are preparing for the battle which is not quite appropriate, it's also, you've heard of the After the Battle magazine, Winston Ramsey, they're looking around, trying to see if they can find the stash of money left behind, and they want to take it, they want to go, they want some of that it's, uh, Kelly's Heroes action. First of all, they're setting up their defensive positions just in case. But like I said, they're going to make their way to that village and check it out to ensure that there's no danger lurking inside. It's all pretty calm, pretty relaxed, isn't it? Oh, this is not too bad. Can't see any of you guys. Let's just, uh, you know, stay sort of relaxed. The troops get, the less alert they become. They start to lean on their guns instead of holding them ready. This is a dangerous time for them because, like I said, they're tired, close, so they're not really on the ball. Hello, someone's seen something, they're creeping in. What's going on? They look like they've livened up. Someone must have spotted something. Oh, yeah, definitely something. Thank you. 
suddenly called into action. And now the guys on the ground supporting out the guns. Right about now, the radio operators for the Americans are going to be calling in for air support, ground support, any kind of support. Starting to advance. The idea is to fight. 